Hello there, my Virgo collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Virgos? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh, Virgos. What's going on, Virgos? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Virgo collective. Virgos, what's going on in your energy? It's going to say what you need to know. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. You're going to take a journey. Number 27. Exercise your vibes. 38. <sighs> You need to let go of something because it's fucking with your chakras, okay? Uh, so, you know, get outside more, get grounded. Uh, you're definitely going to be taking a journey. Now, that could just be maybe you're going to take a little walk somewhere. You're going to do something. You could be walking on new ground, new territory. But you got to get your energy back in line, back in alignment. You know, it's that blue, but that blue could almost be a sort of sadness. So, you know, uh, exercise your vibes. Uh, work your chakras. Work your chakras. Work your chakras. Whew. I like that, Virgos. You're definitely going to be uh, uh, maybe moving over new ground, new territory. Yeah, that Five of Cups energy there. I don't want you with that dark blue of that card. I don't want you caught up in some melancholy state. Because for a lot of you, it's just uh, freeing up your chakras. Listen to some chakra aligning music. Uh, anything you can do to kind of... Um, I'm getting that energy of like manipulating. Getting that negative... Uh, it's not negative so much as just... It's almost like a melancholy sadness. Uh, my melancholy baby. Is that a song? I don't know, but it sounds familiar. Maybe it's the winter blues. I don't know what it is. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. The hangman there. Yeah, I think you're hanging on to some stagnant energy that you need to kind of just brush it off. Brush it off. Brush it off. Even with that high priestess, I'm getting some traveling energy. Uh, trying something new. Try, you know, take the long way home. Take the long way home, right? Da -da 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 yeah, I think you're just holding on to some uh, negative energy or some negative energy is trying to hold on to you and you just need to uh, do some aura cleansing, listen to some uh, different music. Okay, Virgos, what's going on? What's going on? Maybe you need a good massage to get the blood flowing in your body again, right? Maybe a nice little brisk walk. 333 on the phone. Queen of Wands energy. It's time to take action. Again, with that high priestess energy there, with that cat, with that Queen of Wands. It's like uh, covering new ground, taking a new road, taking a new road, taking a new route. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you need to get out of that stagnation period. You're kind of stuck. For a lot of, I'm really getting that feel like your energy is stuck. You need to, you need to get your 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 aura, your chakra flowing freely. Yeah, get out again. Some of y'all are going to be crossing over new ground, Virgos, and you're going to be happy. So you know, it's like let go and just let God and just go be free. Go be free. Between the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles is the Four of Swords. Again, with the rest relaxation to get your chakras in alignment. Especially if you've been sedentary. I'm getting a lot of sedentary energy from this. So you need to like move. You need to move. Blockages. But I think it's that sort of melancholy, <laughs> melancholy baby. I don't know if that's a song or a title of a book. That blue energy. You need to get out of this, whatever it is, right? I know if the weather's not good where you're at, I know it's kind of hard to do that. Um, if you're like me, you, you're trying to avoid it so you don't get that uh, 
Uh, end of winter, cold, eight of pentacles. Feels like you're going to figure out a way to work, work through it. Again, I'm getting that sort of chakra alignment right there. There's a seven of pentacles. He's working on that eight one. You need to get your chakras in alignment. Uh, the music is good. Whatever you need to do. Do it. Uh, above the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, we got the Knight of Swords. This feels like action. Some of you, that could be about uh, traveling somewhere. The World card. You could be getting an opportunity to go somewhere new. I do feel like you're going to be walking on new ground. Justice card. Libra, you're showing up up there on top. Things balancing out. The sword is over that Knight of Swords and the balance... The scales of justice there are above that world card. So things are going to balance out for you. The Queen of Wands. It's like that Queen of Wands energy. Some of you could be, definitely be in a manifesting energy. With the Knight of Swords. Strength card. So we've had Libra and um, Leo show up. Here's Gemini. The Knight of Wands. You know what? Some of you could be meeting a very smart person who um, has very, very strong Gemini Leo placements. Okay? Maybe they have Gemini Sun with Leo rising. Uh, I think you're going to be meeting somebody. Ace of Wands. This feels like a startup. With that Knight of Wands energy, maybe it's going to be uh, a future lover. That does almost feel like a future lover. Where's this Knight of Wands going? To the Two of Wands. With the world right there in your hands. Um, you're definitely going to be traveling over some new ground. You're going to be doing something new. Um... Where the fuck are you looking at? The Hermit. Virgo, there you are. That's what you're looking at. I really get this energy. This person is looking at you, though. Heavy Gemini placement? But maybe they have, like, a Leo rising. And they want to come towards. They want to come towards. And it's going, I think this is going to sneak up on you. Because you're focusing on you, right? Page of Swords. Because someone's watching. What are they watching? Yeah. With that Swords energy. Someone's watching. Two of Cups. I think you've caught somebody's attention. Two of Cups and that Lover's card there. Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. I am not feeling reconciliation energy from this. But for this King of Swords, when they finally converse with you, they're, they're going to be in a different type of energy. They're going to be in that uh, Nine of Wands energy. So they could be coming from like a crappy relationship or maybe a divorce or some sort of situation like that. So, they're, I almost feel like the communication could seem, it's almost going to seem dry in a sense. If you're like looking at this person for a, a date or something, they may come across a little curt. Because um, they're still a little wounded. They're, uh, this is, they could just now be wanting to get out there and start, you know, dating again. So, they're going to be a little... <laughs> This person's going to be uh, 
interesting to say the least because I think they're coming from a situation that wasn't too good but uh, this is like a good opportunity that will of fortune is what I'm feeling off that ace of pentacles as well but they are coming from an energy where they might be a little um because they see you as empress energy they see you as like a perfect partner material Because I'm not feeling reconciliation with you. So I don't think this is someone that you know. But I think that if this person was going through something or went through something and maybe now they're ready to get out there, uh, they may tell you that. I think the conversation is going to probably be a little, <laughs> I'm going to say curt, because their 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 communication is, isn't going to be maybe what you think. I think they're intellectual, but maybe when it comes to getting out there and dating again, they're going to be feeling a little... Uh, a little like a fish out of water. You know what I mean? They've been wanting to come towards and make this offer, but... Yeah, they're wearing a mask of healing. I think they're coming from a situation that wasn't... Maybe wasn't too positive. But that doesn't mean they're not ready to kind of build. They're ready to start something new and shed the old in order to move towards something positive. But they are afraid of rejection. They are afraid of rejection. So, you know, this, this, uh, I like this. This is just, um, when they finally get out there, right? Maybe they're not so keen on the whole dating scene. They're not so keen on the bar scene it's it's not what they expected. It's not what they're used to. So they're going to feel like a fish out of water. Maybe for some of you, they're going to have Pisces in their chart. I'm really feeling Gemini with a Leo rising or a Leo with Gemini rising. I like this. So, you know, if you get the opportunity... Uh, go on a date with this person. If they ever decide to talk, that's the thing. Are they going to talk or not? Um, I feel like they are coming from something. I think they're a healed energy. They just got their guard up. They're going to be, they're going to have boundaries. They're going to be very, um, they're going to be, I keep wanting, I'm getting like Kurt. The conversations are going to seem maybe a little too uh, business-like. They're just, they may seem a little dry as far as you're concerned. But this person's just as nervous as anyone else getting back out there. But I feel like you do need to cleanse your chakra. You need to get rid of that sort of uh, stagnant energy. It just feels stagnant. Maybe get a massage. Maybe do something to kind of get the body moving to, to get that aura in alignment. I think it'd make you more receptive to this person. Now, this could be you moving towards this person. <sighs> yeah, make sure you're getting plenty of rest, too. This reading is draining. That comes down to that chakra alignment. Get out there, move, exercise, listen to some chakra aligning. Music, your you got your energy flow is blocked. Okay, so you kind of want to work on uh, moving that energy around in your body, moving that energy around. And once you get out there and you just start feeling a little better, you get your your kind of uh, energy fourteen fourteen on the phone when I said that. When you get your energy flowing, it's just naturally going to feel better. Maybe for some of you, it's just a really good massage, right? Get a good. Uh, uh, rub down, get the blood flowing, get all that uh, stagnant energy. It feels like just a bunch of fucking stagnant energy. I know with the blue, with the weather, it's kind of hard to get out there. I understand you on that, but just start working on on moving that energy around, and I think you'll be good, Virgos. You can ring my bell. Ring my 
bell. Oh, I love that reading. I love that. Um, so, yeah, if you get the chance to date this person and they just seem a little off, they're going to seem off. If, like, the communication is just going to be, I'm going to say, like, dry. It's going to be curt. It's going to be simple. Just kind of give this person a chance because you might realize they're just, they just got their guard up because they're not really... Maybe they've had some issues in the dating scene with the tower card there and the three of cups. So they're they're still trying to navigate those waters. So cut them some slack. Cut them some slack. Peace, love, and light, Virgo.